St. James Cathedral was founded in 1887. Two short years later, Father Joseph J. Creed made his first priority to build a school. St. Joseph's Academy, run by the Sisters of St. Joseph, opened its door to 30 pupils in October 1889. The school was located at the corner of Magnolia and Robinson until it was relocated to its current site on Hillman and Robinson, across the street from the picturesque Lake Iola. The school was renamed after the church St. James and opened its door in 1928. The Sisters of St. Joseph continued to be the primary educators of the students at St. James. In addition to being a standard school, St. James also had a boarding school for girls, a convent and chapel. I remember very vividly how beautiful this building was. We had attended St. Joseph's. I started in St. Joseph's where the post office is today. But I could remember walking in the doors 75 years ago when it first opened up and Father Fox was leading the group, very proud of what he'd done and we were proud of what he'd done also. Our family moved here from Philadelphia in 1935. I left the school with 3,500 Catholic boys in it. Came to St. James, a total of 60 in the whole high school, five girls and five boys in our class. It was quite a change for me. Starting in the 1930s, St. James was the Catholic high school in Central Florida, until 1954, when Bishop Moore Catholic was built on Edgewater Drive in College Park. A lot of people don't know that St. James used to be from kindergarten to 12th grade. The kindergarten through the sixth grade occupied the first floor, and seven through 12 occupied the second floor. And when you actually got up to that second floor, you felt like you had really accomplished something. The football team, there's only 10 of us on the football team, so in order to get 11, we had to borrow from the OHS team after practice. And we played St. Leo's one time, and this used to be called the Samspur Field, because there were Samspurs all over the place. And it wasn't 100 yards long, so we, we played on an 85-yard football field. Since 1954 to present date, St. James has educated students from kindergarten through eighth grade. Our class was the last class to graduate from St. James High School. Bishop Moore was built the next year. We were the first class to graduate from the church. It had just been completed, the new church downtown. Um, our principal was Sister St. Anne. She was tiny diminutive, but she was mighty. She kept us in line. We referred to her as little dynamite, but she had a wonderful sense of humor. When I was in uh, first grade, I can remember that there were some new students that came in and they had a hard time with the language and the uh, teacher explained to us that they had come from Cuba. And so one of the things I always felt about our school is their arms were open. And those, some of those girls became some of my best friends uh, through the grades. We had a wonderful time at St. James School, the, uh, the camaraderie and the love and uh, the nuns and all the memories. It was just a wonderful time and we'll never forget. St. James Cathedral School has stood in its location for 90 years. A constant symbol of our Catholic faith in an ever-changing downtown landscape while educating thousands of students. So where is St. James today? The mission of our school is to serve God's children, first and foremost. And through serving God's children, we share the gospel values. And we hope that the kids then gather those values and then walk away serving others. St. James has meant everything to me as a student, teacher, and an alumni. As a student, um, it's where I learned all of my Catholic values that I take into my profession today. Um, it's where I've met many lifelong friends that I still am in contact with today. I still coach with, some I still teach with. As an alumni of St. James, I'm very proud. Something has always brought me back to St. James. I feel at home here. As a teacher, it's been a rewarding and fulfilling experience to be able to come back to the place where I call home and teach with uh, some of the same teachers that taught me. The environment is very holistic. I think that's probably the best way I would describe it. 
Academically, the kids are challenged. Um, I know that they are working above grade level here and that makes me really happy knowing that they're being prepared for high school and what's beyond. The other piece is the spiritual component that um, feeds their soul. We, we feed their minds and give them the opportunities, but what are the skills that are going to carry them on through life? And it's the ability to have relationships, to be compassionate, to, to provide service. The school teaches our core subjects math, science, English, social studies, and reading, along with religion classes. But the methods have changed with the introduction of technology into the classroom. Chalk and chalkboards have been replaced by whiteboards and markers and interactive learning units. Collaborative learning environments, group seating, instead of desks lined up in a straight row, is what our current classroom looks like. Small plays acted out in costumes brought in from home and one-act plays in the cafeteria have given way to an award-winning drama program supported by creative set design, elaborative costumes, sound system, and proper stage in the assembly hall. Both my children are very different, but I think the school's been able to accommodate both their needs. I think from the teachers, the administration, so what each child needed. Uh, to help them grow academically, socially. It's a very nice place for my children to grow up in. Our athletic program has grown over the years to become a strong program where students excel in many areas of sports, from volleyball to basketball, soccer, flag football, and track and field. St. James is a wonderful academic school. They are prepared academically, they are prepared emotionally, they are prepared socially, and they are prepared spiritually. St. James educates the whole child and my children are forever grateful for the education they've received here. So our goal obviously is a foundation of education that is excellent, but at the same time making sure that our Catholic values are really instilled upon them so they go out into the world and serve and continue on with the passion of our Catholic faith and serving others. The St. James of today owes its success to the hard work, dedication, and sacrifice of many wonderful priests, members of consecrated life, families, and students. So while much has changed, the most important things have stayed the same. Our dedication to our faith, our love of family, and our deep sense of community.